are looking for the bullet bounce butter zone to find the optimum angle and bullet speed for big scales. So using the cars to map out the trajectory of the clip, Adam sets up a remote rig for the firepower and gets an angle on the angle of the gun. Pretty good. So at what angle do we begin shooting into the ground? The first shot is gonna be at what I'm gonna call the intuition angle. If I was this guy, this is the angle at which I feel like I would have to hit the ground in order to bounce it correctly into the wheel well of my assailant. Turns out it's about 16 and a half degrees. Am I right? I have no idea, but it's as good a place as any to begin. It's the natural place to start their rebound analysis. So Adam sets up a backboard to track the angle of the ricochet. All right, for our first intuition shot, I'm gonna load this copper jacketed cartridge into the gun and we're gonna fire it. You guys will have to move that way. Excellent. <laughs> for those of you playing at home, you can stay where you are. The gun is hot in three, two, one. That was a perfect shot. A perfect shot and a perfect bounce. The bullet hit perfectly in the center of our white box. That's great. And based on the bullet hole in the backboard, Adam can get the angle. All right, the bullet was aimed at the ground at a 16.2 degree angle, and after it hit the ground, it left at 9.95 degree angle, just a little bit more than half of the angle. A little bit more than half. But the question is, did the bullet lose power after its rebound from the ground? One plus one equals two. <laughs> Here's the thing, the bullet is hitting the ground at 1,200 plus feet per second. It's leaving the ground at 962 feet per second. That is a lot of energy still in that piece of metal. Yeah, that's not a lot of loss. Well, let's try a steeper angle. Yep, it's gonna take a few more tilts at bouncing bullets before the Mythbusters have the ins and outs of ricochet dynamics. This is test number two at 32 degrees. Gun is hot in three, two, one. Whoa, whoa. Very interesting. Another shot where I hit exactly where I wanted to. <laughs> Well, that's unexpected. The uh, ricochet angle is pretty much exactly the angle that it hit the ground at, like a mirror. It hit at 32 degrees and it bounced at 32 degrees. I would not have called that.